All right, these are my two Washingtonia palms. On the left is Robusta, also known as the Mexican fan palm. And on the right is Filifera, known as the California fan palm. So the Mexican fan palm is the ones that you will see in LA, um, kind of when you see the photos or of the streets lined with these tall skinny palms, that's what you're gonna see. Whereas the Filifera, if you go out to Palm Springs, California, you will see these and these things live in the desert and the trunks get absolutely massive. Uh, when I saw them for the first time in real life, I just could not believe how big the trunks were. So Filifera uh, is re generally considered to be more cold hardy than Robusta, but Filifera has a hard time dealing with moisture because it is from a very dry climate, whereas the Robusta is better at handling it. So a couple of years ago, I bought this Filifera and uh, I kept it in the pot. I left it outside and winter came and it got fungus in the spear and, you know, I basically had to remove everything. And uh, it's done that twice this past winter. I put it underneath the kind of like my front porch, the overhang of my front step. And so it did not get rained on, but it actually still took damage. And I have videos about that, but you can see this is the, this was the spear that was emerging during winter. And you can kind of see the damage. There was more black on it. You can kind of see the black spotting, um, but it's dried out since. So that's why it doesn't look as black. The, the new, uh, newly emerging frond here is pretty decent looking, but just looking at these two, um, the Filifera appears to have a slightly lighter color, whereas the Robusta seems to be just, you know, a shade or two darker green. They both have, you know, kind of like the, the, the hair, the fiber. So, and from what I've seen, the Robusta tend to have a little bit more of a closed fan leaf, or at least that's what they look like when they get big. But the main kind of thing that you can tell what you have is if you look at the base of the petioles, you see that purple, kind of purpley reddish color. That's a Robusta quality. And then I've also found that these teeth are bigger and dark colored. So Filifera has green petioles. And I believe it also has more, um, more of these fibers. But if you look at the detail on the teeth, a little bit different pattern. I'd say they're not quite as big, closer together and more of a yellow color. Now, I, I wanna preface, preface it saying that the majority of palm, uh, Washingtonia palms you will buy at the store most likely are hybrids. And because these two species hybridize really easily. So unless you're going and collecting from a wild seed source, you cannot say for sure that this palm is 100% filifera or this palm is 100% robusta. This one is mostly robusta to all robusta is robusta traits whereas this one has the filifera traits so it is either mostly or all filifera um, i have noticed there's a little bit of coloration there just a little bit so you could say that this is a uh when when you're talking about hybrids of these two, they call them filibustas. So this may be a filifera dominant filibusta, and this may be a robusta dominant filibusta. Um, I picked these two because I this one was sold as filifera, by the way, and this one was sold as robusta. I picked ones that I felt looked most like the you know type specimen or what they really should look like so it will be interesting to see robusta are also known to be much faster growers this guy here puts out about three four fronds a year but loses them you can see that one was partially green and now it's toast but uh 
there's no way I could keep this one alive um, unless I fully protect it, which I did last year and it still took damage. So I'm not sure what to do with this guy. This one's a new experiment. He's going here. We'll see how he does. You know, I may have him for a few years. He may die the first year. I don't really know. But there are bigger ones around occasionally. Um, and I know of people in BC that have had them, but they, again, they protected them from the moisture. So. For $25, it's not, not that big a risk to me. I'm willing, I'm willing to give it a shot. I mean, where else can you buy a palm that size for $25? It's got to be three feet tall. So, not too shabby. Anyway, sorry for the long, long-winded video. I wonder if that color, I don't know if the color really shows up on the, on the camera, but there's a little, just a shade or two off. But anyway, we're gonna keep, actually, I'm, I'm planning on keeping that one there. I'm gonna sink this guy in the ground and we can just kind of compare them throughout the summer. We'll, maybe we'll do an update at the end of the month. Um, I'm gonna get this guy in the ground the next day or so. Um, we're, Kind of in the midst i guess it's kind of a heat wave it's been in the mid 80s and today not quite 100 but getting pretty close and tomorrow looks like you know right around 90 and anyway summer is here it's come early this year uh, last year at this time it was cool and rainy so i'm very thankful for that hope you're all having a great day thanks for watching